You can either buy your coolant uh, pre-mixed or as a concentrate. So I buy the the concentrate, and this is meant to be at a, uh, like a a 33% mixture for my van and where I live. So I've got like a smaller bottle, which is a two and a half litre. So I'm going to fill it up to just under a litre, and then I'll top it up with water um, to mix it. And I'll need three of these two and a halves to make up the seven and a half litres that Max needs. Yeah, it's just under my litre mark. Then use a demineralised water. So it's basically been filtered, um, distilled, so you don't have any impurities in the water. Just helps to, again, reduce the chance of corrosion in your engine. And then, before you tipping this into the car, give it a good mix so that it actually mixes the coolant with the water It's not because it will stay a little bit separated and pour it in. And here's my soft drink funnel and I, tend my, I tip my bottle on the side so it helps it to flow out better, you don't get that gurgling flow that you do if you just try and tip your bottle out. It's not going to have air bubbles caught inside the bottle. So that's two of these bottles, that's five litres, I've got one more bottle to go. Now I've just been pouring this third bottle in and I've gotten to here and the radiator is at the top. Now if you're not actually measuring out your fluids you might think oh, okay, okay my engine's full now but after you switch it on and then the fluid starts flowing through the motor you'll find that that water level will drop and then you won't have enough fluid to go through your motor so um, after doing your first couple of turnovers you'll then want to stop it check your radiator top it up again um, to make sure you get the full amount that you um, manual actually says is meant to be in there just don't go off the oh my, my radiator's full so I must be right because it tell you, there's a lot of hollow sections in the engine block and the water's got to get through there and the fact that there's air and everything in there it won't flow through really well until you actually get the motor turned over and it starts flowing, pumping through and it'll only pump through once the thermostat opens and that's when it gets hot enough to actually open up and let the water flow through um, giving that tip from experience because I forgot to check my water level once and the engine started getting hot and it was because I hadn't had enough fluid in there. Learn from your mistakes.